Hey everyone, I'm the Tom. Welcome to my gaming channel. And first of all, Merry Christmas. Uh, I hope your Christmas was a little bit less busy than mine. I had to work basically all day, but it's fine. Uh, I have time for this video and the other video, obviously the Need for Speed 2, Need for Speed Underground 2, excuse me, video now and. That's why those videos are going to go up a little bit later today than they would normally. So I still have no idea who I want to start with. Um, kind of like these monsters. And I'm just gonna kill myself. If I do spawn as the hero. Which I do. I'm just gonna let myself get killed. Yeah, it just hit me. Um, alright. I wanna get this guy to kill me. I still pr very much dislike uh, ranged weapons, but uh, I also dislike this spider because the slow is just too good. It also slows the attack speed like considerably. And he didn't even level up from this. He, he got like 41 blood though, so he can get himself this Qatar. So he did. And obviously he can't fight the boss yet because he's level 2. And I'm level 1 so it's still far too early into the game to even, to even think about fighting the boss. Which is why I'm gonna focus on dealing some damage here. Which is... Uh, yeah. I, I did. A little bit. What does this even do? No damage is what it does. But just, there's gotta be something else. Yeah, I did, I did a little bit of damage to him there. So he leveled up to level 3. And that gives me a 31 retail. Which I'm gonna use for evolving this guy. And then also for evolving this thing. Alright. So we're ready. The depths. Could also be a chapter of the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Or Wrath of the Lamp, for that matter. That's just fire consistently and be annoying. And there we go, I'm gonna spawn this dragon right here. Actually, I don't want to kill him. Because I want to get more blood. And. Yeah, I would. Actually, I'm gonna kill him right there. And the reason for that is that the shop is right here. And I got a lot of blood. I'm gonna get myself the. Nimble Club. Fast attack speed for a club. I mean, with that damage per hit, it's gonna be like truly amazing. Uh, yes, I'm gonna buy this. And I'm also gonna explore a little bit more. Down here, maybe. Ah, uh, well, there's some health. And obviously, I'll pick up the health before fighting the slimes. That's very clever of me. 
I don't know how I just dodged that, but I did. Here we go. Didn't really gain a lot of XP from that, but it counts. So all I need now is uh, a little bit more money for a good secondary ability. Because uh, Dash is not gonna help me out a lot against uh, Kurok. So I need something like Floating Beam, which would be my absolute favorite, as you guys probably know by now. I'm gonna go for this guy though. It's pretty strong. And now we're at the Maw. Oh, actually. Am I gonna get myself killed here? I think yes. But first I'm gonna collect this money. Holy crap. I'm doing tons of damage per hit. Uh, but I also have very low HP. Which is why... Obviously, I mean, HP are gonna get better in time if, as I level up more. Yeah, I died here. So when I'm level 10, HP should be fine. He gained a lot of blood. Well, not, not a whole lot, but probably enough to buy what he wants here. Yeah, a, a nimble bow. That's pretty good. Probably, if you like range, if you like range weapons, which I don't. Whatever though. Yeah, there's the boss fight, which obviously he can he can't access because he's not level ten yet. So he's just gonna go down to the next floor, I guess. Ah, uh, no, he's gonna buy something. Gnome brew. Well, whatever. If you want, if you want to be fast rather than strong, then go ahead, by all means. So let's spawn this thing, which I absolutely had no control over, but uh, I I did nonetheless. And yeah, he does. He can attack very fast. Holy crap. I just... Well, yeah. That was not very good. So I'm not really sure how I'm gonna kill him at this point because he's gonna keep leveling up a lot. Well, actually, as soon as he's level 10, he's gonna fight Kurok and I don't think he's gonna kill Kurok with... with his bow. Because the bow sucks <laughs> against Kurok. To be totally honest with you. Uh, this or this? Yeah, this one. This one it is. So I'm gonna go back and click ready. So we can go ahead and go down to the Crypt of Ktur. Um, I should use my slimes a little bit more often. For example, not here. Yeah, but here. Yeah, I'm doing so much damage to him right now. So I know how I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> yeah, let's just go to the blacksmith. And blood for money we're gonna buy not the crossbow not the copesh and not the load and not the slow repeater either so what kind of abilities do we have here hyper dash berserker travel shield honestly none of none, none of those appeal to me uh, yes this is pretty good 
golem tears. Yeah. Spider venom. No. Well, we might as well since we have the eye too. That that strange eye. That. Oh. I can shoot it pretty damn frequently. A little bit too frequently for my personal likings, but it's okay. I hope. Yeah. So what do you have here? We have the stairs down to the next floor and I feel pretty good about my chances. All I need now is floating beam to do some serious damage against Korok if I man when I manage to stun him. I say when because obviously it's gonna happen at some point. But uh, what worries me a little bit is his monsters because he did ch uh, chose that yeah this guy who is like really annoying but i do have a lot of damage per hit like you see there oh really I hate those shields. If I just had floating beam I could shoot this guy no problem at all. Here we go. Oh no. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna be dead. Not eventually but in this room. What the hell is this attack range? So he's gonna go to the shop right away. There's three bows available here, so I'm not missing out on too much. Also, floating beam is not available here. gonna shoot here with the crossbow. Alright, so I did damage him quite a bit. I don't have a slime avail available though to shoot uh, to shoot this guy while he's uh, while he's unable to move. Like in this phase right here, I could spawn the slimes and they would start attacking him before he can even move. So let's shoot the laser here, do a decent amount of damage with it. Oh man, I missed completely. I landed that one though. Yeah, his chances are not that great. Even though he just hit me, I'm not very concerned. Yeah, let's just keep doing this and this. And shoot once more, and he died to the creep, though. Actually, he's not dead yet. I, sh I still need to really finish him off. Which is gonna happen in this room. Like, definitely. All I need to do now is survive this monster, his monster. Which, shouldn't, which should not be... A tall order, really? Can't even use my dodge roll effectively when when I'm slowed by this creep. 
that was a pretty good dodge though. Anyway. Oh. I hate you. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to black market. If I can actually find it. Well, it's not here. Where is it then? It's gonna be here. Alright. I don't want any of those bows, to be totally honest with you. Circling shield. Feather of the squinting shrimp. When you're bleeding, you run like the wind. Uh, no thanks. Yes! Oh, what's this one? Travel shield, berserker. Alright. Gonna buy this. No, that's not worth my money. Because I know floating beam costs 50 gold. And I really wanna buy it on the next floor. Which is why I just saved my money there. He's level 10, I'm level 8. And on top of that, he got more Vita from this floor than me, so... That floor was great for him, but not so great for me, especially because he's now got the dragon. If he spawns that once, I'm I'm dead. Because <laughs> I'm not full HP. Even if I was, I would have I would have a hard time. But I think I would do it. I would be able to do it. Oh man. Yeah and now we have this exact si situation. That is what what I was afraid of. But he missed entirely. Oh no. Oh man. I'm gonna lose. Yeah, I'm gonna die here. Or am I? No! I survived. I should be able to do this. Oh, thank you, Circling Shield. Oh, that was so close. That was not close at all. Neither was this. But this fight is taking ages. What? Come on. Yeah, that was just a hit in the face. What? There was another enemy? Like there was another pentagram is what I'm... What I'm surprised about. Can I just not attack on this... On these spider webs? Really? Yeah. That's it. He's gonna fight Kurok. Probably. So, um, yeah, let's just see what he's gonna do. Yeah, that's what I expected there. So there's gonna be one more fight against Kurok, unless he wins this one, which I very much doubt. But he does have a melee weapon now, which is more effective against Kurok. So he's 
still did a little bit. Actually, a lot of damage to me. But I also did a ton of damage to him here. Here we go. He's dead. Almost dead is. So he's gonna buy a monster heart to heal to heal himself up just that little bit. Yeah. See ya. Or maybe not. No, he's gonna survive. Pretty easily, actually. And he's gonna heal himself up here. But he's gonna die to this room. And if it's not gonna be against this enemy, then against the next one. But it was against the first one. So hopefully he won't spawn the dragon here. He didn't, so I can go very aggressive against this old lady. What the freaking hell? Here we go. And now I'm going to go to the blacksmith, which is going to be down here. Trading all my blood away, and I'm gonna buy faded this. Well, it's better than nothing. I don't need that though, and I don't need that. Uh, no, no. So let's just go down to the next floor and hopefully find the boss room rather soon. Because I want to fight Kurok, I want to beat him as the hero. And I don't... And I want to... Yeah, I want to win as the hero. And and not uh, win by killing the hero as Kurok. So the boss fight is close, apparently. Or at least this is the right direction for it. I would really love a range a ranged weapon or ability against this guy. Something like floating beam. Oh no. He set me on fire. But he's almost dead. Oh no, that hurts. So does that, though. So the boss fight is gonna be somewhere here. I can hear it. But am I gonna be able to defeat the dragon again? Goodness. Yes, that is that hurts badly. Yeah, I'm gonna die to this room. Yeah, I definitely am. Yeah, I'm dead. All right, so he's gonna fight the boss right now. Yeah, right now. Actually, no, he's not. That missed, really?
did some decent damage against him there. Oh no. I wish I would have gotten this this guy first and then uh and then the other thing with the laser because uh I could have created a ton of fires with the first thing and then uh and then there would have been a lot of fires in the arena when uh, I had the, uh, the 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 laser thing. Oh no! Come on! Yeah. So this is gonna be the final struggle, and uh, to be honest. I don't think his chances are very good. So that's what I meant. Slime is gonna sh start shooting at him. Actually, it started shooting at Korok instead. That's... that's interesting. And I'm gonna shoot the laser right here and he's low on health already. Yeah, that was the wrong moment to start firing a laser. Yeah, he does some some good damage, but he's low on HP, so if I can get him trapped once more, he's gonna die. Or he can also get whittled down like this, and that's what happened. Humanity stolen. So Kurok is unleashed. For better or for worse, probably for worse. And he is consumed and lost forever. Oh, so the, there are still are no new items to unlock. Which is why I'm gonna end this episode right here. If you enjoyed, please click the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.